Hey guys, we are back with Remothered Broken Porcelain. Say goodbye, heart you first from my eye. If you leave me, pretty really sure you miss me. If you fly, you lose something in the Listen to me. Excuse me? Uh, are you new? I suppose so. Huh. I love that song. Where are you from? Flemington Girls Institute. What did you do? What do you mean? If you get transferred here, it means you are a real problem. Listen, I'm not up for making conversation. Oh, well, I'm sorry, I guess. I was hoping we would get to know each other better. That's all. I'm into illegal organ and drug trafficking. In my spare time, I exchange sex for cigarettes. Nice. I was expecting more like controversial political activist, promoter of black slavery, and preservation of the Aryan race. Only in my spare time. Very well, you're right. I'm a real handful. Now, if you will excuse me. The pleasure was all mine. Lose something in the sky. You have to wake up. I beg you, wake up. Shit, they drugged you. Listen, you have to leave. You have to get away from this place. This story again. Everything you said before, I believe you. Porcelain and everything else you saw. You heard Andrea. He... He hung himself years ago. It's him, isn't it? Professor Albert Elias Wyman. The same walking stick you were talking about. See? It was all an act. There was no body. And if there had been, it wouldn't have been his. I don't... I don't understand. There's no time to explain. They know who you are. They know. What are you talking about? Why didn't you ever say anything to me? I tried to warn you. I tried to, to get you to leave. But you never understood, for fuck's sake. Why? Who do they think I am? Celeste Felton. Me? No, uh, I don't know. Uh, oh God, Lynn, I can't remember! They found you and they brought you here to use you. And now that they are sure of who they think you are, you have to run! Fucking hell, Lynn, just tell me! That drug. The disease. And what does that have to do with me? Your birth mother. She used loads of it. You got it from her. It's a part of you. Your organism hasn't shown any side effects. Your body lives in harmony with it. You can even control it. And they know it. Look me in the eyes, Jen. Look at me. You mustn't do anything or trust anyone. Is this the reason why we met? Have you been pretending to be my friend this whole time? No, Jen. It had nothing to do with this. I've always been honest with you. Lynn! Lynn! Oh, no. Not again! Ah, my head! <sighs> when a mother moth perceives the presence of a possible threat to her throne, she does everything that she is capable of to maintain control over the others. <sighs> Therefore, eliminating the threat.
that was some creepy voice. I tried to look around but I couldn't find anyone. So let's see what we have to do now. A telephone! It's coming from Ashman's office. So the new objective is to go into the manager's office and answer the phone. I think we will need a key to enter inside. I can hear it ringing but fuck, it's locked. Oh, there has to be another way. I'm fast forwarding the stuff which is not necessary in the game. There are so many drawers and Elmiras that I have to check for the stuff so that's why I'm fast forwarding this stuff. Okay so we have found something useful. Now we need to go inside room 211 and find the key for the manager office. So probably room 211 will be the manager's room if the key is in that room. And here I am opening and closing the drawers. So right now we have these four objectives. The first one is to find the key for the manager office. Then we have to answer the phone which is ringing inside the manager's office. And we have to find Lin. And probably we will find the keys for the manager's office inside the manager's room. So I feel scared to go upstairs. So last time that creepy guy jumped on me and I fell from the stairs. Okay, this is room 212 and 213. So probably the new room should be somewhere else, maybe in old hotel wing. Looks like Ashman is sleeping. Look at that guy wearing shoes while sleeping. So I'm wondering what are your thoughts on the game till now? In my opinion there are some bugs that I have seen but as per the story and the scare element they did a good job with the game. I was expecting a jump scare when I was opening the door. So let's go inside the manager's office and see who is calling. This is the room where first Andrea introduced us to Mr. Asman. Shit! I missed it by a second! Wait, what's that? Maybe they left a voicemail. Ashman? Hi, Stefano. It's me, Ariana. I know it was you earlier. I know it was you all those other times. I beg you. Stop tormenting us. I beg you, please, stop. Yes, it's true, I did love you once. But so much time has passed, too much time. It couldn't work and it didn't. I am a married woman now, whether you like it or not, so get over it. And as for Richard, despite not having a choice, I stayed by his side when he endured all that shit that you put him through. Let us deal with our pain. Forget about us. Forget about me. Have some respect for us, a godforsaken couple who will never see their little girl ever again. 
I wish you could understand. Leave us be. Ariana? Richard? No, it can't be. It can't be them. It must be a coincidence, Jen. So what else we have to do here? Celeste Felton, this is... this is me. It feels like an eternity has passed since I ran away from home. Jesus! So far what I understand from the game is we are in this Ashman Inn and uh, there was some secret experiment that was done on the people in the hotel and that's why they are getting angry and attacking. Ariana go! Mom, it's you. This is not a coincidence. They know who I really am. Mom, Dad. Is this what you were looking for? <gasps> Mr. Ashman, please, lower that gun. I don't want to hurt you. It's not my intention. Why won't you let me go then? I have no choice, Celeste. I am not Celeste! Quit the act! You're the only one who can stop it! Please, Mr. Ashman, I beg of you, let me go. You're exactly the same as your slutty mother. That disgusting bitch. When Oxel made her lose her mind, she had to get in the way. I loved Ariana. Why did she keep this apart? Mr. Ashman. She had to be shown who was the real man. Did she not learn her lesson when I fucked her? The fire extinguisher. Maybe I can use it to my advantage. What am I supposed to do against a man with a gun? I'm bleeding way too much. So my objective is to use the fire extinguisher against Mr. Asman. So let's see what it will do. Time to run. Yes, a fire extinguisher cannot do a lot right. So that is the only thing that I have to use the fire extinguisher on his face. I don't know where he is but I'm going to wait here. The difficult part about this fight is that he has a gun and he can do range attack on me. That's why I just have to hide somewhere. Okay so there he is. I will go behind him and try to do a sneak attack on him. Well I think I can't because I don't have any knife or any other weapon. The funny thing is that knife or any other weapons have one time use. I think he's behind this door, so I guess I'll have to use the fire extinguisher when he comes out. Yes, he's coming, he's coming. My little sister, Gloria. She too had become like the others. She had to die. <laughs> the hell? Stop, you little coward! <laughs> it's like he teleported behind me. The, the most fascinating creature on the planet. It can communicate with others of its kind, even from great distances. Imagine if we could create a bridge between the human mnemonic apparatus and the communicative system of those beings, with rapid impulses and synapses, a transmission of images without the use of senses. 
That would be telepathy, miss. But most insects need a leader to guide them. Take bees, for example. They have a queen to guide them. Very good. That's what the hypnosis was for. During the hypnosis, the metronome is only a tool. The ticking is interpreted as a gentle flapping of the wings. But the real queen bee, or should I say Mother Atherontia, was... Whoever was hypnotizing others. Bingo. And he would have had complete control over them. The phenoxyl was able to fill in substantial memory gaps, formed by the removal of a particular event, such as traumas from one's memory. But why Celeste, then? That damned mother of hers, who was making regular use of phenoxyl during her pregnancy, managed to pass on to her an extraordinary gift, a special power. Do you not understand, Reed? Celeste was born a queen bee. 